Hello, thanks for joining me. Uh, today we're going to tie a very simple uh, midge pattern on a size 16 imp hook. Um, start your thread, mill the shank, using 8 out black thread. This is a, a midge pupa per se, uh, very effective. Tying some silver wire. Size doesn't really matter. This is a a medium size. Uh, you just want so it's not too big. Okay, this is perfect rubber and black. It's just round black rubber leg. Just do two wraps without stretching it or anything. Okay. We're gonna stretch this tag. Do a few more wraps or stretch stuff you're gonna wrap with. Okay, you're just gonna stretch this tag. And do two wraps. Okay, forward, and then stretch the tag back, do a few more wraps. This really locks it in place. The main thing is you have to stretch so it doesn't um, bulk up. Do a quick half hitch. Okay, I'm going to wrap this round rubber. Uh, <coughs> start off wrapping pretty loosely. Do not want to build up a lot of bulk. And then you're going to pull gradually as you get towards the end to make a nice tapered body. Uh, and then as you start winding back, put less and less pressure. Now also develop the segmenting uh, very nicely. Okay, so wrap up to about here, then take it, tie it off, two wraps, and then you're just going to want to stretch it and uh, tie her up to the eye behind the eye of the hook. I'll uh, develop the proper bulk um, for this fly. I'm going to want to counter rib it with this silver wire. We're going to want to put the ribs wraps very close and then we're going to spread them out as we get further up. This will help develop a more natural segmentation to this fly. <clears throat> Just cut off the wire. Okay, now for the gills or uh, beaters, whatever you want to call them. We use a little white polypropylene yarn and tie that in. Facing towards the eye. And we'll leave just a little not too much room though. Okay. So now you can tie in a a, a, a win case if you uh, like. This one I'm going to tie in a piece of thin skin. This is not a necessary step. It is, uh, you can just wrap the thorax, which would just be peacock curl. This is just a little extra step I add. Um, it is, in the real thing, has a wind case, or, uh, but it's not necessary. So tie in a single strand of peacock curl. And then just twist it around the thread and just wrap it up. Touch and turns till you get right up to a polypropylene yarn you tied in. Okay, so now we're just gonna pull this wind case right over 
and the type of thin skin is a oops my thread broke it happens to everyone that your thread would break I'll just grab another bobbin real quick okay so my thread did break sorry about that guys so I'll just tie in some thread okay that this will always happen to you no matter how good of a flat tire you think you are you always break your thread okay so just you gotta learn to reattach it and the type of thin skin is a mottled oak and natural okay so I just tied down the thin skin and I just I did a couple eyes or wraps in front of uh, the gills or beaters if you will I'm just gonna wet finish try not to get the, the gills tangled up in your wet finish and just tie it off okay now all you need to do is just trim these guys to length about as long as the thorax pretty much all you need okay you can see how nice that looks thanks and 